the uh, the premises on which I am building up my case is this: that state of Jammu Kashmir, as all judgments of this court show, has a special and a peculiar position. It is for the first time this court is called upon on a very important issue: whether this can, the way it has been got rid of, whether it could have been done like that, and that does not involve any issue of the procedure involved. It also involves the issue of power. Isn't it something which is basic to all the arguments raised before this court with regard to the power? The power of parliament, the power of president, the power of the government of the state, the power of the governor. The common theme in all these constitutional authorities is the power. And we're examining that issue, we're debating that issue, that something has been done, whether you had the power to do so. This is one. Second, how did you exercise that power? And if the exercise of the power is unconstitutional, then even if you have that power, the action will still have to be invalidated. This seems to be the theme of the whole thing. That ultimately, whether uh, 370 by itself subserves the uh, sovereignty, as I said, it does. But at the same time, the sovereignty is exercised by it from time to time by agreeing to all constitutional orders passed 54 in number, how those constitutional orders were passed, how they are passed, and what is the effect of those is also an issue. Then also, what is it that we are claiming? We're only claiming constitutional autonomy, which has been taken away from us on 5th of August and 6th of August. Now, how do we get that constitutional autonomy back? Is by demonstrating to the court that what is that I had. If I had nothing, then what am I fighting for? It would be an unrealistic litigation, unworkable litigation. It will have no result at the end. Second would be I still had the constitutional autonomy, maybe little, maybe whatever it may be, as Honorable Justice Kof observed, you are talking of a skeleton. Maybe it was a skeleton, but somebody still felt that skeleton was disturbing him. Therefore, he got it off it. If it was a skeleton, leave it as it is. The way we were living prior to 4th of August 2019, that the things remain as they are. But then the thought of removing the skeleton, somebody must have thought somewhere that this skeleton must also go. But I am not on the question of this skeleton. I still had the power. Now, let's see what was in the Constitution. What was the constitutional application, or in particular 1954? Why? Because it is that order which is amended from time to time. 